Okay, welcome back guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and hit the notification button. And also like so that the algorithm can push this to those who actually need them. At least if you're not subscribing, but please do subscribe. That's really encouraging for me. So let's carry on with this. So let's work on the I'll hide this for now. Hide this also. Okay, let me hide this. Let me just name this to I may. <coughs> let us work on the vest. <coughs> So I'll start with this. I'll give this a new material to AI standard surface. Okay. So this will be the neck vest. AI neck vest. This is supposed to be like a fabric <coughs> fabric material. <clears throat> Let's see there's any fabric resets in here. Velvet. Uh, huh. Let's see. Let's see. Place oh, all. Let's, <clears throat> let's do a render for this. Let's see what we have. <clears throat> That's some value for Shin in here. I need to change some of this up later, but there's no IOR in here for the specular roughness, and there's no code also. So let's see what we have when we render this out. Make it smaller. Let's render this. Let's see. <coughs> well, then right. Okay. So I'm going to stop this for now. Let's bring in. <coughs> Let's bring in our material in here. Uh, since that on the strap, on the strap, on this strap, I have a, like leather material in there. The leather material in there. Let me see there ain't anything close to leather in here. No, nah, there isn't so. Uh, I think I'll just reset this to the default. I'll reset this to the default. So I can do them separately. <clears throat> I can do them let's do separately. So I would come in here. Okay, better still. Let's just do fresh right click and hold and do separate. So I have to separate piece for this. Let me name this to this tape power okay and this will be the vest itself all right so i'll give this tape a different material in here new material yeah standard surface just name this to vest taper okay select this let's go to the hyper shade ai neck vest let's go to the graph network for this there's a lot of things i'm going to be changing in here so uh let's go to sp textures neck vests 
Okay, now noticing that I didn't export the particular one. <clears throat> so do I have all of this? Did I actually put all of this in a single? Wow, it is even bleeding out. It's bleeding out way too much. It's bleeding out way too much. I need to open up the Trans Painter again. I will need to re, -ex re export that. Continue. Let me start by deleting what we have here. Delete all of this. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's export. Let's export. Next verse. Let's export this out again. On a general export setting. Pardon. So there should be no okay, there's no pardon in here. Pass through no pardon. Then let's export this out. So we're in the correct folder. Let's no. This is the correct folder in here. Select this. Okay. Uh we'll export this out. I'm exporting this at 4K resolution, so that should be fine. So we are good. We will split that out. Okay, let me close this. We don't need this anymore. Okay. All right. So I come back in here. We're having something like this, which is fine. So we don't need the color, normal, and roughness for this. We don't need metallic for this. So let's just plug this where they should be. It shouldn't take too much time. So out color to base color. No, how to specular roughness, then AI normal map. Out color to input. Out color to inputs. Add value to normal cam. Okay. Select this. Go down to the chain. Think I will change this color up a bit more. Do something around the air like so instead. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, something you need to do. Roughness should be on raw. Alpha is luminous. Normal map should be. On raw also, okay. I put luminance also. I think it should be fine. Select this piece. And I would. Oh, I already added a new material in there already. So let's go back in here. Okay. Think. What did I name it as? Okay, no. Okay, vest taper. This is here. I'll select this. Okay, graph network. 
I'm just going to import the same material again without the metallic property to it. But as well, I've just plugged it, leave, leave the outputs around here and then just connect the node. But I want to have individual control over each one in case I want to tweak or change the normal map intensity. So let's start with the normal, use the roughness. Select this raw alpha luminance. How to specular roughness. Out color to base color. Okay. Um. Okay. Raw alpha is luminance. This AI normal. I'm just gonna set everything up before doing rendering. Before rendering any of this. Out color to inputs. Okay. I'll leave that as what one for now. Okay, should be fine. Select this. All of this should just be one piece, one material in zone. So, anode, standard surface, metal, neck, metal neck, polar. AI okay. I'll increase the metalness for this. This is the metallic material. Then I will just come back here. Look for the material in here. Uh where is it? I need to close this and open this up again. Okay. Yeah, it's in there now. So, like so. Put all this. Okay. Mm, put all of this in here again. Select this raw alpha is luminance. Select this raw alpha is luminance. Okay. Mm. AI normal map. Like so. Is it on raw already? Open this up. Out to specular roughness. Out color to base color, All right? I think that should be fine. So let's do a quick render now. Let's see what we have. Let's render this. Yeah, this is what I think it's shiny on the edge. Makes it looks quite a bit interesting. Giving it a bit of an interesting shape to it. Yeah, everything seems to be set up quite nicely. And think of this set up funny. Yeah, this should work. So I'll stop this. Another, another concern of mine is let me save this. I'm done with this already. Let's close. Okay, so let me hide. Let me hide this for now. I want to bring back the head and the eye. Something I need to adjust in here. Something I feel I should adjust in here. I think I need. I think I need a bit of SSS on this. On this um, shader, 
let's go to our hyper sheet so let's open up the let's open up the uh where is it where is it not the layered version of it yeah the face paint graph network now this face paint uh let's see let's see let's see so i'll open this up open sss increase that uh the preset the preset the presets uh can i see if i can if i change this i'll also open it one for me in everything not to show if this will ruin everything we can, we can always undo that let's see okay it's, it's actually kept everything kept everything the way it should be that's fine random so i'm going to set this to zero points let's say zero point zero six instead okay the typical typically is supposed to be let me bring out my prf bring this out so you can actually see just sitting here because the value is supposed to be 0 0.1 but i'm putting something or something lower let's try 0 0.08 instead set this to 0 0.3 Okay, and I'm going to plug the out color in the out color to the subsurface color. Okay, save this. Let's do a render for this. Let's see what we have. So I'm going to turn this off. Let's do a fresh render for this. Let's see what we have. It's not, it's not, it's not going to be, it's not going to affect the layers because we're just working on just one shader, just the face map, face paint shader rather. So let's just see what we get. So I will come back when this is done. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. Why is not showing anything? Not, I don't know why is not showing anything.